Hello guys, today I'm delighted to ha get back onto the channel, Ollie Cassidy, he's 5 and I went, yeah, um, what, why didn't you fight on the 24th of September, can you remind me, were you injured? Uh, no, so what happened is, um, basically my manager couldn't get a uh, opponent sorted in time, ah. he had, he had, he had um quite a few lads pull out last minute, so I had to end up pulling off that fight card, which That's is a shame because I was training hard for it and I was looking forward to it. How many rounds was it scheduled? Six? Yeah, six. So it was meant to be my first six rounder as well. I was wow. feeling fit and doing six rounds easy, so I was looking forward to it. Have you got a fight date coming up? Do you know or not as yet? Uh, I'm being told the 12th of November, so I think that's when I'll be back out. Oh, do, do you know where that would be? If um, I'm not sure. Somewhere in Birmingham, though. It'd be, it'd be local, somewhere uh, up here. Would it be a Tommy Owen show or a BCB show? Yeah, it'll be um one of Tommy Owen's shows again. <laughs> that, that'd be good, won't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, mate. It's always so... good to have a day. So would that be your first six rounder, yeah? Uh yeah. It look it's looking like it'll be my first six rounder, yeah. Yeah. Did I interview you before your fifth fight? Um I think so. Yeah, yeah. So I th I think you you interviewed me uh after our box pool comings, not long after our box pool coming, so that was my fourth. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it was before my fifth fight, yeah. And who did you box in your fifth fight? Can you remind me? Uh, Richard Helm. Oh, that's it, yes. Because that was the same night as um, Ishmael Ellis. Yeah, that's right, that's right. He was um, top of the card. That was a good little fight, wasn't it? Yeah, from what I saw. I, I probably only saw probably the first four rounds, but it was uh, it was quite close. And I've known Louis for a long time, the lad who he boxed. So, um yeah, I think it was a close one. It could have gone either way from what I heard. Yeah. I mean, I have two, um, well, ish, two up. Yeah. But, yeah. Is is that what you want, like a Midlands title very soon if you keep? Uh, yeah, you know what? I think that's the uh, next step, to be honest. It, with just whatever title is available. Um, the, the natural progression would be for a Midlands title. So, I'm guessing... That will come probably next year sometime. We'll just see what happens and see what see what's out there, see what about is available. Yeah, just keep working hard is the, the, the main thing. Yeah, of course, yeah. Keep winning as well. That's, that helps. Yeah. And maybe, mate, you'll get a stoppage. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think with the longer rounds, I'll definitely uh, end up stopping a few people. Oh, 100%. you will. That stoppage yeah. will come eventually, trust me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> it will. Are you going to be watching the Ben Eubank fight this weekend? Yeah, you know what? I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait. I've been watching them um, like behind the scenes or whatever it's called, them them episodes, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm buzzing for it. Yeah. So, if you, I'm going to put you on the fence. <laughs> if I gave you a fiver, who would you put it on? Uh, Eubank. I think he's just going to be too big for him. I think, you know, kind of, kind of Ben's look good. He's last, uh, he, he's been on a roll, hasn't he? Actually, knocking people out and that. Yeah. Probably the four fights, whatever. He has looked good, but um, Chris, U, Chris Eubank's boxed at super, super middle, hasn't he? He's boxed guys like George Grove, so I just and, can't see. And the caliber of his opponents have been better, That's more it. experienced as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think he's been at a top level. Eubank has, even though he's come short a couple of times, but he's still boxed at that elite level. Yeah, he's he's beat uh James DeGale as well, which but, is. But the winner, the winner of the fight, has got to be fighting for world titles. Yeah, that that'll be the next. Step. That's what um Chris Eubank said anyway. He's he's looking for to fight for world titles after this. I think he's still chasing Golovkin, isn't he? He wants to pay a day off Golovkin as well. So, I, know, I reckon Eubank would beat him now because Golovkin's a bit past him. Yeah, he didn't look as good his last fight today against Canelo. Like, I think I think he, he only came to life in the last three, four rounds. Yeah, he's looking his age a bit, isn't he? Really, he should be yeah. knocking it on. 
He's, he's, is he forty? It's time, he's, to call it, it's time to call it a day for him. Yeah, I think so. He's had a good career. He's, yeah. uh, he's, and we don't want him a... ruining it if he just keeps fighting these good fighters and then just losing. We don't want that. No, no, definitely not. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, so are you going to back you bank by stoppage or points? Uh, you know what? I could see him stopping him maybe the second half of the fight. I know, I know, uh, Ooh. kind of bends a bit and he's, he's looks good at the weight as well because he says he walks around at about 12 stone anyway. So, yeah, but I, th I think on fight night, you're going to see why, why you bank to middleweight and why kind of bends a welter. It will yeah, be similar. It, I mean, it is the weights, isn't it? Like, we saw what yeah, happened with yeah. Canelo when he went up. We've seen it quite a few times, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, the, it's like Cal Brook when he butts Golovkin. I know, um, I know Eubank isn't a punt, can't punch as hard as Golovkin, but it's still, it's, it'll just be, it'll look like a boy against a man, I think. Oh, really? So you think Eubank's going to make easy work out of Ben? I do, yeah. I can't, I can't Ooh. see, uh, I can't see Ben's power troubling him. I can't at all. Like when he's <laughs> been in with someone like, George Groves, who's a massive super middleweight. I mean, and a big I per personally, I think it, it'll be a good fight, but I reckon you bank will catch him nine, ten. Yeah, yeah, a bit later on when they're a bit tired. Because yeah. Ben's not going to go down without a fight. No, no, he's not, and I he'll be looking. He'll be looking for. I think, the... I think uh, that you bank might look. Ben will start the better of the two. I've got a feeling. Yeah. Then you bank. Yeah, grows into the fight and just maybe get catches him off guard and just yeah yeah cause he'll, he'll, he will he won't be afraid to stand there with him uh kind of ben won't uh, for, but me, that could be him as for well. me i i can't see it going the distance either way no nah, you, you think uh who, who do you reckon then you bank yeah yeah i'm, I'm gonna say you bank do you yeah, want you bank think... or do you want like ben you know what? I like I like them both, to be honest. Yeah. Um. So either either one, either way, really, I wouldn't be bothered who wins or loses. What would What do you think would be better for boxing if, because if apparently if Eubank loses, then he's he'll retire. Well, that's what he's been saying. Yeah. Um. I don't know, really. I think. He might, he might just be saying that anyway. If there's a few paydays out there left for him after this... Yeah, and I'm even if, if he loses to Ben, there's still good big fights out there for him that he can still take. Yeah, definitely. And I'm sure he would as well. I don't think he'd retire after this. Yeah, and, kind of, he, and if Ben loses, then I've, I can still see him like at world level as well. Yeah, see, you know what, what will happen? They'll say, oh, you know what, we tried to go up in weight to fight him. Uh, we've come up short, but you, never you mind. Bank's so, got more to lose, would you say? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he has hundred percent because ben, Ben's kind of the underdog, isn't he? Coming up all that way. True. I think he's they're meeting in between. So you Banks going down one, and Ben's yeah. going up one. That's it. Yeah, he's um he's got to come three pounds under what he normally makes, hasn't he? Uh, Chris Eubank. Yeah. What about? And then ben what about Savannah Marshall v. Um, Clarissa Shields? Yeah, you know what? That's that was another one I was looking forward to. Um, that's the week after now, isn't it? After it got postponed. No, it yeah, but it's not this week. But it's next weekend. It's a big week of boxing because you've got Devin Haney can boast this rematch. Well, you've got Wilder, you've got Marshall. You so it's yeah. a big night of boxing. To be fair. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? Um, I, I think uh, what's her name? I think Savannah Marshall uh will probably beat her on points. Or may, she, Fair she might even, she might even get a late stoppage. Who knows? She can punch. She can really punch. I'm saying six to eight, Marshall. Yeah, yeah. So she in has got those three got, rounds. Yeah, she has got the power to stop her definitely. I wouldn't be supply, um, surprised if Clarissa boxes Marshall's heads off the ten. Yeah, hours. yeah, exactly. That could happen as well because she has, her boxing skills are good, but she just lacks that power. Uh, yeah, she just lacks power. I think. Yeah, that again. That should be a good fight. Oh yeah, it'd be great. That'll be. I'm looking forward to that one as well. Definitely. 
what other big fights after this week is there? I think uh, Bigel's making a return. Is he? Who's he fighting? Ramirez. He's oh, 44 and 0. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know who he is. Yeah. I, did you I, see? Pardon? Did you see? Did you see that Denzel Bentley's just been announced that he's fighting for a world title? Oh, yes, yes, he is, yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. That is, it'll be good to see. Uh, he, he, he's got a good chance of winning that as well. I mean, it'll be a tough ask for him, though. Yeah, big step up, but I, I'd rate him. I think he's good. I wouldn't be surprised to see him win that. Yeah. Oh, and that might be the same night as your fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm sure it is actually. Either that or the week after. It's not far. Wait, what week? What day are you? Twelve. Uh, the twelfth. Yeah, is that is that announced on the twelfth? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So after your win, mate, you might have. I don't know. What do you like eating after your fight? And uh, I, I always get a pizza. I, I n- crave a nice pizza. pizza, mate. Whilst pizza watching um Bentley win the world title. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, would you do you do you know the opponent yet, or not as of yet, as you haven't like announced it on any of your your socials yet? Say that again, mate. Sorry, I lost you then. At I the said, start, I said, do you have an opponent because you haven't like announced your fight date yet? Like, um, I've there there was a lad who called me out recently. Um. He but he bucks on a couple of the shows. Uh, he's five and zero as well. But we're just What's trying to see if um Mike Tyler on his Facebook name is Mike he's, Tyler. Yeah, he's he's five and zero as well. He he bucks recently on um the Planet Ice show in Birmingham. Oh, okay. I think that name rings a bell. Yes. Yeah, that, he's um that could be he, a fight he, for the future. Maybe a title for that. Because that would be a good thing to Yeah, well, he's um he's actually a welterweight, so I don't know why he, he's called me out, but he said he'll come up to super middle anyway, uh, super super welter anyway. So if, if he wants to, that's great. Yeah, but you're well, yeah. only one weight above him, so that's not like... Yeah, no, no, much. you're right. But hopefully he'll come up. Um, or it, would, you, would you go down if there's a title involved? Uh, no, I wouldn't make the welterweight limit. Would you Definitely not? not. No, Are you no. super welter or like? Would, yeah, super welter. Would you welter. ever fight it like middleweight? Uh, yeah, probably. If as because uh, I'll I'll keep growing anyway. I think to be honest, I'll probably end up at middleweight eventually. Yeah. But at the minute, I, I can make um super, super easy comfortably. So yeah, yeah. Who's welterweight uh, area champion at the minute? Is it? Is it? Um, is it James um, Stewart? Yeah. Amy Stewart, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, he is. Did you watch his fight against uh, Ben Fields? No, I, I didn't see it. I saw that they uh, it was a draw, though, wasn't it? Oh, Ben Fields won that, to be fair. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's I, a shame. I had Ben up by two. Yeah, that's a shame he didn't get this uh, decision because he worked hard, to be fair, Ben does. He yeah, always and, takes... he, and he goes on the road. I'm not saying he's a journeyman, but he, he does go on the road. Yeah. Yeah, he, he'll take any fight. I've sparred, I've done a few rounds sparring with him. He's come up to our gym before. He's a, he's he's a good fighter, fighter, isn't he? Yeah, he's tough. He's tough. Tough blood. Would you ever fight him? Uh, not unless he wants to come up to Super Welter. <laughs> oh, wait, so... Oh, because Jamie Stewart's welterweight or Super Yeah. Welterweight. Yeah, that's it. I think the Super, super Welterweight... Um, Midlands champion is Kyle Haywood at the minute. Oh, yes, I think it is. As he he drew his last fight as well for against Amos. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. But Amos won that by mate by six. I thought Amos got robbed. Yeah. He did. I, I I didn't see that fight. Well, that if you want me to send you a link to. Um, either of the fights, I'll always send it to you. Okay, right. cheers. Which that would be oh, good. So, so, how many more times are you trying to fight this year? Are you going to try and get this one in November, or or are you going to try and get one out 
um this month later this month or um i think i've been told the next one will be in november so yeah yeah it, but i'll probably just have that one to be honest because it'll be difficult for me to do tickets for the one in december then because people are a bit tight with the money coming up to christmas which is understandable yeah, so yeah hard to around that sort of year but november should be okay yeah, so maybe one more, and this would be your first six rounder. Do you see? Yeah. Do you, does your style suit the the longer round? Would you say? Yeah, definitely. I think I'll get better as the rounds go on. To be honest, because I'm fit, I'm fit already. I can do six rounds already, like sparring and that. So I'll be, I'll I'll enjoy doing the six rounds a lot more. And maybe this time next year, mate, you'll have a title on your shoulder when we're doing this. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, possibly. Who knows? A lot can happen in a year, definitely. Yeah. If if you just keep training hard, keep winning, and just keep, just stay calm, and your time will come. Yeah, that's it. Keep training. Keep my head down. Yeah. So what? What's your gym again? What's What's your gym called again? Uh, RG Boxing Club. Oh Richie yes. Gen trainer. Isn't Danny Ball in that gym as well? Yeah, Danny Ball's got um. Danny's fighting this Friday and he's got um an English title shot against what's his name? Uh Tomlinson. Uh, oh wait, is I, it an English title fight? Yeah, yeah, it's for the English title, but uh Oh, that's a it. big fight for him. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, English title's great. I hope he? he gets the job done. Yeah, I'm sure he will. I'm confident he will. Will will you be there supporting him? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't know where where the fight is or when it's going to be yet, but I'll definitely it's get up in Dudley, if I'm not mistaken. No, that that's his next fight. That will be on Friday. Um, but the one for oh, the English. Oh, so that, 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 the fight on Friday isn't for the title. No, no, he's just he's doing got the an, an eliminator in like n maybe next year, late this year. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, it. yes. Because I've I've seen that uh, on RG boxing page or what, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Announcement. Yeah, that the board said about it. Um, Who else I think is the... in your gym? Uh, Connor Walker as well. Oh yeah, Connor. He got a bit unlucky in that fight, didn't he? Yeah, yeah definitely. Man. Yeah. De I, I had a rematch, I had... mate, and I reckon Connor Walker stops him. It might be yeah, good. possibly. Yeah, but well, yeah. Connor's. Uh going to move down away. He said he's going to do like well to right now. Oh, is so he? There'll be, yeah, there'll be some good fights out there for him. Yeah. He's still in this title mix, like English-British level. Yeah, definitely, yeah. 100%. Yeah. And hopefully you get a few champions in your gym and then you'll, next year you can show them your belt as well as yeah. them. That's it. We'll have a, uh, a gym full of title holders. What about, um, oh, what's he called? Ah, oh, Josh Stokes. Yeah, that's it. Josh is here as well. Uh, Josh is doing the six rounder. His next fight, he's looking good, inspiring as well recently. So he's doing oh, really well. That's good to hear, mate. That's good. What about? Am I right in saying? Oh, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, two. His name begins with a T. Oh, T. Yeah, we just call him T. Be <laughs> <laughs> the, the crazy, uh, crazy Italian. Yeah, he, he's on. Yeah. Three draws in a row. Yeah, that's it, mate. He's been unlucky. <laughs> he has been really unlucky. Yeah. But, um, I mean, that I last think... fight, I thought he won. De definitely. Yeah, definitely. He hurt the lad a few times as well, didn't he? Yeah. It's a shame. He, um, good, well, because He'll be he, he back out sell... soon because he's a good fighter. Yeah, he doesn't sell tickets. So what, what uh... he's going to do, I think he's going to... Um, just go be the away fighter and try and get six six or eight rounders on decent shows so he can earn a little bit of money as well. But do you but, think he would always go for the win or is he going to be like a journeyman? No, he'll, he'll always go for the win, mate, definitely. <laughs> he'll, 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 he'll never uh, just go in there to earn, earn, a, earn some wages, definitely not. That, yeah. But that's what you want. If you, if you can't sell tickets you can still be a prospect in going on the road like Ben Fields has proven that he's been even though he's been losing in close fights he still managed to get an area title fight yeah exactly as long as you keep uh, keep at it anything can happen yeah 
I'll, I'll let you go now, mate. But do you want to show out anyone again who's helped you? Uh, yeah, thank you to all my sponsors uh, who've been helping me every fight. All, all their help uh, really makes a difference. And then thank you to all my fans as well um, who keep buying tickets and keep showing their support. Like, like I say, without them, we wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. Just let me know and I'll I'll try my very best to come down. Yeah, keep smashing it. Yeah, thank you, mate. Cheers. Bye, mate. Thank you. Bye.